بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم دس از صوفیہ واحد آئی ایل بی ٹیچنگ یو کمپیوٹر سائنس فار دس سیشن آئی ہوپ یو آل آر سیف ایٹ ہوم فرسٹ لیٹس ہیو اے لک ایٹ دا سلیبس بریک اپ ڈیورنگ دا فرسٹ راؤنڈ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کور فرسٹ ٹو چیپٹرس دا فرسٹ ون از نیٹ ورک کمیونیکیشن اینڈ دا سیکنڈ ون از کمپیوٹر سیکیورٹی تھریٹس ڈیورنگ دا سیکنڈ ٹرم We will be covering chapter number three and four. Third chapter is totally practical based. It's spreadsheets in Excel. And chapter number four is problem solving. And during third term, we are just left with one unit that is computer programming. Now first think what this subject computer science is all about. This is basically the study of computer. It's working and its applications. You may have seen use of computers everywhere during your daily life, in homes, in offices, in hospitals, everywhere. Now tell me one thing. What change you have observed during this time of calamity about the use of computer science or computer technology? Just think over it and here goes your first assignment. You have to uh, submit it within uh, till uh, the coming weekend. Now, uh, your answer must not exceed 200 words and you have to email me your answer. Now, let's move forward. Let's start our first chapter. This is computer network. Now, what is a computer network basically? A computer network is defined as an interconnection of two or more computers to facilitate communication and resource sharing. Common resources are printers, disk storage, access to internet and data resources like files, databases, programs and software applications. So whenever two or more computers share are connected and they share hardware and software, then this is a network. Now, right now, I have uploaded my lecture and you are downloading, you have downloaded this lecture from the internet through uh, the internet and this is a, also an example of computer network basically internet is also a network network of small networks and it is it is it covers whole world let's take another example of computer network you may have seen network of network of computers in banks network of computers in hospitals everywhere whenever you go to the doctor You just tell him your MR number, doctor enters your MR number while sitting in his office and a complete history of the patient comes in front of the doctor. That is possible because his computer is connected to other computers which have a central record, central database of patients. So this is an example of sharing data or software resource. Now let's take an example of sharing hardware resource. Uh, for example, they, in uh, an office there are 20 computers, uh, 20 people on a single floor sitting and they are using their own computers. Now they don't have, all of them don't have printers on their tables. Normally they have just one printer. They share that printer through the internet, through the, sorry, through the network. This is another example of sharing. hardware resource now keeping this in, in mind let's see what are the advantages of computer network the first one is the computers connected on a network share hardware resources again the same thing like printers cd writer cd or dvd player and hard disk etc here i have told you the example of sharing printer now We can take some other example as well. Uh, for example, in a hospital, uh, the report of patients is saved on a central computer and a doctor is accessing that record from that computer. So again, what he is doing in, in this type of, in this form of network, the hardest or storage space of central computer is being shared with other computers over the network. Now, the second advantage is 
to network one computer can share software from other computers I have given you example of sharing software next maintain security and permissions over the network maintaining security is very important and this is possible this can this could be done very efficiently over the uh, network for example if your mother or your father is accessing a uh, uh, banking app using a mobile phone or laptop when they enter the password then they access their, their account only they can't access anyone else account so the security is maintained over the network now permissions over the network how what is the meaning of permission over the network this is uh, when let's take another example uh, let's take the same example of a doctor whenever you go to the doctor in a hospital he enters your MR number and he is allowed just he is allowed to access your information from his computer none of the other employees is allowed to view patient's history so the permissions are given to privileged people next point is coming manage privilege and rights of the users so permissions security and privileges are assigned over the network according to the requirement ki kaun sa person kaun sa data access kar sakta hai kaun sa person wahi particular data access nahi kar sakta like a company ka uh, managing director ya ceo is able to view whole uh, the data of whole organization but alag alag departments ke managers just apne department ko data view kar sakte hain so privileged rights are given to the ceo the next point is a user can easily share files data and can access other computers uh, this is exactly the same what we are doing right now i have uploaded this lecture this file and you are sh you have shared this file you are using this file you are uh, listening the lecture this is sharing of files over the network let's move forward now what are the computer uh, what are the components of a network there are four basic components of a network sender receiver communication device and transmission medium now what is a sender a sender is a device which is used to transmit the data over the network sender may be a computer system a laptop or a mobile phone i am using my laptop to upload this lecture and you now next you may be using any uh, uh, gadget laptop or mobile phone to download this file and to listen the lecture so your device is a receiver and my device is a sender so what is the definition of receiver a receiver is a device which accepts the data or information transmitted by the sender over the network a printer a fax machine a computer are examples of a receiver next another thing is required for communication over the internet uh, in uh, there are a lot of devices but Uh, only modem and network interface card are this are um, related to your course other devices are out of the scope of your course now first see what is a modem modem is the combination of uh, two words mod and dam mod means modulation dam is demodulation when i have told you i have taught you in um, grade 7 that all the data when it is it is present in a computer system it is in digitized form that is in the form of 0 and 1 so when you have to communicate you have to send your data to other system through a medium then this dig digital data has to be converted into analog data in the form of waves so which device works for you to convert the data modem it does modulation to convert digital data to analog and when the data reaches to the receiving computer again through modem it is converted from uh, analog to digital second device a communication device which is necessary on local area networks or 
while you are connecting to the your system to the internet is network interface card which allows you to communicate over the network next when you have to send your data then there must be a medium for transferring data from one uh, device to another so data is transferred using a cable that would be a wired uh, network or uh, sometimes uh, your data travels through air then it is a wireless network so example of wireless network is your mobile communication mobile phone communication when you uh, make a call through your mobile then you are uh, what uh, the medium being used is air so this is a wireless communication so the medium is necessary also for the communication next topic is client and server these are very important concepts about a network uh, what is a server a server is a computer which offers its its resources and services to the other computers on network depending on the rights and privileges assigned by the network administrator and what is a client the computer which uses the resources of a server is called a client workstation the resources of a client can be shared according to the requirement we'll discuss it later now server is basically a powerful computer which has a bigger storage capacity which is which has a uh, more processing power than other computers on the network so let's take an example of a server and a client when you want to search something over the internet you open google and you just type your question and after some time you get information about that from where that information comes that comes from the server of the google google is a search engine company it has multiple servers in Asia, Africa, in Africa, and in, in Europe, America, everywhere. So the, all the information it has about millions of topics is saved on these servers. So these servers provide you services, and you are a client when you are accessing information from you are, you, are, you are accessing information from a server. That's how in a network, a client and server work together. Now, the client server system you have seen um, over the internet. I've, give, I've given you the example of internet. Now, let's see uh, the example of how server manages resources on a small network. For example, in an office, there are 20 employees on a single floor. They all of them have computers and their computers are connected to each other. Now there is just one printer and they are sharing that printer. Now five employees have given command for printing. Whose print whose command is executed first? Now the where is the printer? Printer is connected to the server. Now server is that computer which is uh, which will decide whose command is first executed server will assign hardware resource means printer to any one of the clients first and then according to the priority other requests will also be served that's how server works server uh, um, share is uh, share, server works for uh, sharing hardware resources and software resources over the network uh, all the clients can use the storage space of the server means they can uh, use softwares over the server file they can get files from the server and through server they can also access to uh, other hardwares like um, CD writers DVD and printers that's all for today I will, I will be waiting for your assignment. 
inshallah in the next lecture we will cover the remaining part of the chapter